Our Father, which art in heaven, we thank you for this, your holy Sabbath day that you have given us, another opportunity to come into your presence and cry, Abba, Father. Lord, we don't take it lightly, having a mind to serve thee, and we are thankful and grateful for, most of all, your son, Jesus Christ, who died that we might have a right to eternal life. And Father, we invite your Holy Spirit to have full reign during this time. We thank you for the message, whatsoever you would have us to hear. We thank you for that all hearts and minds are clear and ready to receive what thus saith the Lord. And we thank you, Father, for the messenger who will be leading out this morning. We lift up um, Brother Roy and we thank you, Father, just for um, your hand on his life and that each one of us, Lord, will be will um, be able and ready to receive, Father, the word that you have for each one of us. And we thank you that everyone participates. And we also thank you for those who will be joining us who may not already be Zoomed in. And Lord, as we um, enter into this time, Lord, we ask you, we ask you just to continue to lead God and direct. In Jesus' precious name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Now we have our reading of the fourth commandment by uh, Brother Ross, found in Exodus 28 through 11. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, that no thy son, no thy lord, no thy maid servant, no thy maid servant, no thy cow, no thy strangers that was in thy gate. For in six days the Lord made heaven up the sea, and all that was the maze. And was it Sabbath day? But for the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, I'm gonna need some help this morning because I am actually driving, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna need I'm gonna do the help the living segment, and then after that I will do the uh, question for the day, and then we will have our song service, and then Brother Raw will take over the study after that point. So uh, can I get someone to volunteer for our health message today to read Second Kings five one through fifteen, Second Kings chapter five one through fifteen. I can read. I can read it. Uh, okay, go ahead. All right. Second Kings chapter five. You said verses one through fifteen. Yes, ma'am. And it reads. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, a leper. Verse two, and the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel, a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, would God my Lord with the prophet that in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy, and went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is of the land of Israel. Verse 5, And the king of Syria said, Go to go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed, and took with him ten talents of silver, and six thousand of gold, and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now when this letter is come unto thee, behold, I have sent Naaman my servant to thee, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. And it came to pass, when the king of Israel had read the letter, that he rent his clothes and said, I, God, to kill and make alive, that this man doth send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. Verse 8. And it was when Elisha, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, 
that he sent to the king saying, wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Let him come now to me and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. Hmm. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him saying, go and wash in Jordan seven times and thy flesh shall come again to thee and thou shalt be clean. Verse 11, but Naaman was wroth and went away and said, behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the lever. Not Abana and Farpar, rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. Verse 13, and his servants came near and spake unto him and said, my father, the prophet had bid thee great thing. Wouldest thou not have done? How much rather than when he saith to thee, wash and be clean. Then he went he then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Verse 15. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came and stood before him, and he said, Behold, now I know that no God in all the earth, but in Israel. Now, therefore, I pray thee, take a blessing of thy servant. Amen. MK, you're breaking up all of a sudden. Amen. Amen. Right, okay, let me ask, uh, what's, the, what's, the, uh, what's the health message in that verse, 1 through 15? What is the health message in that verse? Y'all heard that? Question? Yeah. Okay. So, in, in 2 Kings 5, 1 through 15, what is the health message? Sweet potato time. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I, I like to say um, the, the main message to me, and that is obeying the man of God, that God, obeying who God has sent you. Be obedient. And, to, and, and also, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was I was gonna say believing his prophets because the the man of Elisha was the man of God that God used as mm -hmm. and, and we say man of God in the sense the prophet or the messenger that came with the message or with instructions that were he needed to get healing. And uh, and so to Brother Roy's point, he had to believe first off yeah. the messenger, the prophet, the man of God, and then he also had to be obedient. Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? The health message for the, for the time. Anyone else? Any more comments? All right. So, brothers and sisters, we see here, like Brother Roy and Sister Michelle says, you may think and you may believe that you have the best remedy to heal, to get healed. But if the Lord tells you something that seems a lot less profitable than you think what your way is, should you not listen to what God is trying to tell you to get help, to get, to get whole? That's right. Now, remember, now, to, to do a little bit of Know, history research here, you got to understand something. The river Jordan was filthy, was polluted. Mm -hmm. but, but however, the river of Abner and Papa, the river in, in Israel, Damascus, those rivers was clean, pure water, bright, sunshine, and glow. See, all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Water that you want to swim in or even bathe in. Mm. Amen. But the water that God wanted him to to be clear from the levels, it was built in dirty water. Amen. So, 
So the health message is not the remedy, it's the faith in the person, God, who's the person, that tells us what, what, we, what we must do. Now, the remedy that you have used before, that you think works, may well work before. But if, if, someone, if, if someone or something and the Holy Spirit impress you to do something different, to get a hold, guess what you should be doing? The first thing God tells you to do. Although what, what you've done before worked, but God tells you to do something different, guess what? Do what God says do. And you may think your way is a better way. Naaman thought his way was a better way to be clear, did he not? Amen, he did. Amen. First, first he said, why can't he just speak the word? I, I got to go do do that. And so, I mean, the health message, brothers and sisters, is that, first of all, the perfect health message is preventive, right? Preventive yes. care. Preventive, mm -hmm. That's the perfect health message. Which is the Bible, which is the Word of God, the perfect health method. So, the lesson for us is, brothers and sisters, although we may think we know the best way to heal ourselves or get, or what a doctor may say, mm -hmm. but the true method of healing, being healed from sickness, is from the Word of God. Mm -hmm. No Amen. doubt about it. I don't care how many doctors, I don't care how many doctors subscribe to a medication. Or to whatever it may be, the best remedy is from the word of the Lord to get healed. Amen. 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 But again, the healing is not in the, the remedy, the healing is in the obedience. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's the, that's the best health message, obedience. Maybe. Amen. Second Peter, the Lord John, say, I, I wish that above all you prosper in health. Amen. 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 Isaiah 119 said, if you be willing and obedient, you'll lead the good of the land. Amen. That's right. That's right. Not only not only the land here and this earth, but the land in heaven, brothers, and a new era. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, we a lot of times, lot of times we think of either the land is where we are right now. That's mm -hmm. short sighted. We got to have right. a long sight. We have far sight. We got to think ahead. So not only the land here, but the land in heaven and the land that's on the new heaven and new earth. Amen. All right. Any questions before we move to our uh, question for the day? Any questions? Any thoughts on the health message? Anything somebody came up or thought about they want to share about that health message that we just discovered or talked about? Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, if not, brothers and sisters, uh, let us go for our question of the day. Can someone please read Matthew 15, 22 to 28? Matthew 15, verses 22 through 28. Can we get a volunteer? I'll read it. Okay. All right. Amen. Amen. Give everybody a chance to get that. Matthew 22, Matthew 15, verses 22. And I've been I, I've been excited about this all day. Matthew chapter fifteen, <laughs> verses twenty-two to twenty-eight. Everybody, you get that? Say, everybody say, Amen. Amen. This with no, with no rush. No rush. Amen. Amen. So while, while we waiting for that, uh, only what we do for Jesus will last. And you know, I was thinking this morning as I was getting dressed. I uh, so you know, you know, I was thinking this morning while I was getting dressed, I was I was thinking, I said, you know, Lord, I say, you know, if we compare anything, if everything we ready to do, and I think I said this last, if we compare it to heaven, we won't do it. If any like if we're gonna steal something and you compare it well to heaven, man, you won't do that thing. If you're gonna say something, and you compare that to heaven, you won't do it. Because nothing on this earth that can outweigh our benefit of, of, of having eternal life. Nothing. And um, so, I uh, wanted to... Was... Oh, sorry, Brother MK. I'm ready for Brother Rob to read. What, do you have something to say? No, I was just... Brother Wayne has been on, um, and I didn't welcome him when he joined earlier. So welcome, Brother Wayne. 
Brother Roy, go ahead. Okay. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thy son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Mm. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. Mm. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thy wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Amen. 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 So we don't need to read, do we need to read that again? Because I think everybody would know the story. I either heard, heard what he, Brother Roy just said. So, brothers and sisters, the question is now, this I think the sweet potato here, not the obvious thing that we see. What is the sweet potato of what the woman said about, yea, Lord? The children eat of the crown from the master's table. What 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 is she saying, brothers and sisters? That take take the matter of fact, let's take from 22, because there's so many lessons in verses 22 to 28. So someone, anyone, everyone, any comments on that? Yeah. I, well, see, I listen to this, but I have something to say though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, you know, when it says she was vexed with a devil, that's the first thing people are going to look at. How, how can she actually be helped and her daughter's sick? And she, already, she got a devil issue. She vexed with a devil. But see, I know, and all of us on here should know, that all things are possible to those that believe. So I think that really has a lot to do with the actual sweet potato. Yeah, she started off vexed with a devil, but she called on the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. that could do all things except fail. So see, to me, even with her daughter, and then when you drop on down to 27, mm -hmm. it, where you said the dogs eat the crumbs of the table which fall from that master's table, then Jesus answered, said unto her, old woman, great is thou faith. That's the key. And then at that hour, that, you know, her daughter was made whole from that very hour. So to me, uh, Trusting and believing in God by faith, these things shall come to pass. Amen. Mm -hmm. but anyone else? Anyone and everyone? <laughs> Whosoever will. Amen. Let him come. Anyone else? Any other comments? Any other comments? Not all at one time. <laughs> The other comments. I know you're thinking and praying. Amen. Praying and thinking. Anyone else? Anyone else? It's almost like taking a ball from you. You got to keep the action. Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, I'll give a couple more seconds. Let you keep. Praying and keep thinking. Another 30 more seconds. More thoughts. Okay. 15 more seconds. Anyone I'm, else? I'm, I'm thinking as I reread and I keep rereading it because we know that, you know, God doesn't test us from the standpoint, and I shouldn't say test, God will not tempt us, but he tests us. And um, we had a previous study about, um, we talked previously about, and wow, it escaped me that quickly, but it, oh, the, the measure of faith that each, each one is given um, 
the same measure. We're, we all start out with the same measure of faith. And it's not the measure, it's a measure, as I recall. And then it grows based on how much time and obviously we play a part in our our faith, you know, how much faith we have. Um, what I what I get from this is that Jesus was testing her initially, you know, because he I would I dared not say that he blew her off in verse 24, but what I will say is um maybe he was he was trying to see where her faith was. And then in verse 25, she, you know. Not only did she not turn away, she worshiped him and continued to, you know, implore him to help her, her daughter, and goes on to say, you know, she even had a retort. Well, it says in verse 26, um, after she worshiped him and asked him to help her once again, he said, it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast to dogs. Now, I'll admit, I don't really understand that verse, but then what I what I take from it in verse 27 is that it really doesn't matter what the reason was, she, she never let go of her faith that he could help her daughter. So in verse 27, she says, truth, Lord, you know, everything Jesus says is true. So she didn't, she knew not to dispute that, but she goes on to say, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. So I just see this, this playing out as she had the faith. She came there with enough faith to, for her daughter to get healed. And just like Jacob wrestled with God, to me, that's what I see taking place here. Uh, like that's, those are those are all those servants, that's, which is true. What you're saying, all that is true. But it's a deeper lesson God is trying to show us in there. Is anyone else? Um, what I'm looking at is is um when she asked the Lord to have mercy on me. And then her faith. Can you read that verse that you're talking about? Have mercy on me. Can you read that one verse? Can you see that one verse when she says that? Says, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou <laughs> son of David. My <laughs> daughter is grievous, grievously vexed with the devil. All right. Amen. All right, let's listen. Uh -huh. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I just want I just want everyone to hear what you was reading, but the verse you was talking about. Yeah, I'm okay. Stick to okay. okay. To me, right there, is that she was she had a a, a, a cry out for her daughter to be right. saved to be healed from what was binding her down and you know holding her and it had a hold on her but it didn't with God ain't nothing hard for God to work out or to do if, if we ain't so messed up to God can't heal us he can't help us Amen. We got to have the faith and and trust and believe that he can do it. Yeah. And know it in our hearts that he can. He can. Only he can. And and and, and to me, that's the reason why we 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 need to stop looking to the things of this world to give us what we need. The the everything that we need is is, is right here. Word. Mm -hmm. In the word of God. Word of God. Right here. Amen. 
So we don't have to search all over the, over the world. All we have to do is simply read the scriptures. You know what I mean? Amen. We can we we don't have to go to the palm reading because they can't help you. We don't have to go to the the soup. They can't help you. They just taking your money. But when you go to God sincerely, yes, it's like a a a war cry for your life. Help, help me, Lord. If you don't help me, I won't be able to make it. Right. But if you help me, I can, I can stay. Yeah. But you got to have a made up mind. Yes. <laughs> Anyone else? Thank you, sister. Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay. There's no one else. Brother, sister, right before I get to the verse, the yay, Lord, the children, the dogs eat from the crumbs and the balls from the children's table, master's table. All right, let's go back to the, let's go back to verse 22. The lady came to Jesus, amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't say anything. Nothing. Jesus didn't act like he didn't even hear the lady. The church said, you need to leave. Jesus ain't, Jesus ain't got time for you. That's mm. what the, not the, they're not the disciples say that. Now, this is not where I'm going with this. But this, I'm saying there's nuggets all, there's nuggets always, that's the lesson for us always through the whole thing. But I'm going to get to the point. But just want to bring some nuggets out. So it said, hey, Jesus ain't got time for you. He, mm. You know, Jesus, Jesus on a mission. Mm. The church, now the church, these disciples the church. Yes, the true church. Mm -hmm. Amen. But, but, but the lady wasn't seeking for the church. She was seeking for Jesus. Go. So, so she wasn't looking, she was she was not looking at the people. She was looking at Jesus. Because the people say, You don't belong here. And by the way, let me share something with you. The lady was a Canaanite, the lady was a, a Greek, the lady was a Serafian, Serafian lady. In other words, the lady was. And I make it simple like us. Okay, mm -hmm. we are we are we are blacks. We live in South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, but we live in this, but we live in the United States. All right. Yeah. Jesus yeah. only came to Jesus only came to get the people in California. Okay. Oh. He, didn't, he didn't come to get them in North Carolina. He didn't come to get the blacks. He didn't come to get the one in uh, 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 Florida or, or South Carolina or whatever. So because Jesus said, "I only come to what the lost sheep of Israel." In other words. Jesus was telling, I am sent only to get the message to the Israel. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and by the matter of fact, the probation hadn't closed. We talked about that a little bit last week. Probation hadn't closed on the Jews. Mm -hmm. so, but even though the lady knew that she was not a Jew, mm -hmm. and she was a Greek, and she was from Canaan, and she was a Serbish nation from the Serbish, and you can read that in Mark, in Mark chapter 7, you'll see that those other words is, is in there as well that I'm sharing with you. So therefore, but she didn't get deterred. She didn't get deterred because she didn't think it was her time. She didn't get deterred because of the fact the church told her, no, God ain't got time for you. You ain't worth to be saved. You ain't worth for Jesus even to answer you. <laughs> now, these are naked. We, 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 we have encountered those things. So then again, then Jesus speaks to him. Is Jesus calling her a dog? Hmm. Jesus, he's not calling her a dog, is he? but he's trying to. He's, he wanted, now here we come, and Jesus said, "It is not what it is not fit to what, do what." Somebody read that when you talk about the bread. That verse is a, a couple of verses down. It is not meat to get bread. Did someone read that? Mm. Mm. It is okay. not me to take the children's bread and to cast to dogs. Right. It's not, so, in other words, the children, so who are the children that Jesus is talking about? Uh, what is that? Who are, the, who, who are the children that Jesus is talking about here? Who are the children? 
for the children. Jesus said, not me to give to take the bread, mm -hmm. the children bread and give to the dogs, right? Mm -hmm. So who who are these children, brothers and sisters? The children of Israel. Children of Israel. Those are the children of God. So God, Jesus said, in other words, I am coming now. Now let me. I'm gonna skip down down to the verse that says, "Yea, Lord, but the children of the dogs eat from the crumbs that fall from the master's table, the children's table." And you go back to the other verse in Mark that says uh, just the opposite, but use the word "children" instead of "master." But anyway, what God is there? He is coming from the system. What God, what Jesus is telling the lady, the woman. That listen, that I, I, I can't, it's not time for you to get this message. I'm coming to the lost sheep of Israel. But the lady say, Lord, but the dogs eat from the crumbs mm -hmm. that fall from the master's table. And yeah. Jesus, and the lady, and Jesus say, and what the lady said, but Lord, you know, we've been following the leadership, we've been seeing the leadership of Israel. That's right. And yet, we're getting tired of the crumbs. We want, we want to come to the bread of life, which is you, Lord. We come yeah. to you. We come to Amen. 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 And Jesus said, "Hold on, you guys. You know it wasn't your time to come to me, but here, but here, you came to oh. me seeking me because you know that I'm the bread of life. I don't want the crumbs. I want the bread of life. I don't want okay. some pastor, some stale bread, and some teacher, a pastor, a brother, or elder mm -hmm. give me, Lord. I want the bread that you give me straight from God." And the lesson, mm -hmm. brother and sister, everything we get from man is, is really, in a sense, crumbs. Crumbs. If, 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 if you want to be, if you want bread, you can't, you, you make it, you make it be okay with crumbs, but I want the bread. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> and, the bread, and the bread of mm -hmm. Jesus, so Jesus, so the, so the lady said, I'm tired of getting crumbs. I want you, I'm tired of hearing about you, I want to experience you. I want to eat you. I want to drink you. I want to eat your flesh and drink your blood, Lord. And yeah. so, brothers and sisters, that happens for us is not, is that we must stop hearing sermons, hearing someone else say something, and think we feel good. And we need to get in the Word of God ourselves and experience the eating and bread and not the crumbs. What somebody else think? What somebody else say? I don't care who's. I don't care who they are. What teaches what to Let's not substitute, brothers and sisters, crumbs for the real bread. Let's not just substitute, let's not substitute tapes and sermons for reading the word of God. Amen. Go to Jesus himself. He can fill you up. Amen. And so and that's why Jesus said, you come to me, and the disciples trying to discourage her and say, go away. Jesus, away. Jesus speaks. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't want her to go away. Like Michelle mm -hmm. and Brother Ross said, this is the miracle. It's how great is that faith? And her Amen. daughter was back with the devil. And by her being persistent, brother and sister, and not being discouraged by when she thought that Jesus was a living God, when you think God is not watching you, God is watching you. God is not listening, he's listening. And so when the church tells you God don't hear your prayer or he's not seeing you, don't you believe that? Don't believe that. Amen. So stay there and keep pressing forward, brother and sister. Mm -hmm. And then God say, your faith have made you hope. Go in peace. Seeing no hope. That's the gospel, brothers. That's the gospel. And by her being persistent and wanting to experience the bread of life, mm -hmm. that faith made her daughter whole. Okay. So, what? How we not know that our faith could have someone else to be healed? Amen. Or be, or be saved. Mm -hmm. And, brothers, just sisters, you know, I always think, I think often our faithfulness, continued faithfulness, May cause our loved ones to be saved by us, by God, earning what we say and other what we ask them to do. Amen. So, brothers, let us continue to taste the bread, let us continue to, to eat the bread of life. Amen. Which is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Which is word, with the word of God. Any questions or comments? Yeah, I got a comment, Brother Ma. Yes, sir. <laughs> Present truth, powerful word. Praise God. You can we can say the benediction right there because you get that's powerful mm -hmm. you know I, you know it, it comes to mind it comes to mind when you saying all that is that that's enough for us to get all the way to the kingdom of god amen what you said because listen it, it's been in a lot of instances that a lot of us have been in churches that we wasn't even getting the crumbs so that's how we got here 
Thank God for being able to get here and get the present truth. Amen. So that's what I'm thankful for. So a lot of times people can't emphasize that. But right there, if, if we didn't hear nothing else today, that's enough to get us pointed toward the king and get in there. Amen. But because we have the main course, that was the appetizer, because we have the main course, we must sit at the table and partake of more bread. Yeah. So, brother, sister, any more comments or thoughts before we move on to our talk service and then Brother Rob will lead us out in the word that God has given him for us today? Any more thoughts or comments on that? On Matthew 15, verse 22 to today. Any more thoughts or comments or questions? Yes, on, on, on faith. On faith, um, it's uh, the faith. We are we we already stated that the Lord has given to us the measure of faith. And so when we, when we talk about our faith or my faith, as it were, we're talking about as even as the message was given last night regarding the word. I can only remember the word receive. There were three three points of, but one was receive. And so the faith that we have is the faith that we have received from Jesus. Amen. Man, that's right. We call we call it our faith like it came from us, but then some some do. Let me put it that way. Some call it the faith as though it came from us, but but it is simply the faith of Jesus. Amen. That we receive that we receive by grace of God. That's all. Praise God. Like, Said last night, faith in Jesus and faith of Jesus, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, brother Wayne. Anyone else? Any other comments, questions? Anyone else before we go into our song service? Anyone else? If not, brother and sister, before we have a song service, uh, brother Roy and Hollis, sister Mary. Okay. And then after that, we go to our Bible study. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to do a scripture yeah. before I say. Okay. It's Romans 9 14. Mm -hmm. It is Romans 9 14. Uh, 14 9. I mean 14 9, sorry. <laughs> and it reads. For to this end, Christ both died and rose and revived that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. Amen. Okay, this I'm going to sing is, my Lord, what a morning. Mm -hmm. Coming out of the hymn books. Hymn book. Hymn number 507. My Lord, what a morning. My Lord, what a morning When the stars begin to fall You'll hear the trumpet sound To wake the nation on the ground Looking to God's right hand When the stars begin to fall my Lord, what a morning, my Lord, what a morning, when the stars begin to fall. You'll hear the sinners moan to wake the nation on the ground, looking to God's right hand. When the stars begin to fall, my Lord, what a morning, my Lord, what a morning, when the stars begin to fall, you, you will hear the Christian shout to wake the nation on the ground. Looking to God's right hand when the stars begin to fall. My Lord, what a morning! My Lord, 
What a morning, my Lord. What a morning when the stars begin to fall. Amen. 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 All right now. <laughs> Thank you, Sister. Praise God for that. Uh, now we have a study, Brother Roy. Yes. Praise God, everyone. Heavenly Sabbath. Holy Sabbath. Holy Sabbath. Holy Sabbath. Hey, Prophet bless the Sabbath. Bless the Sabbath. Yeah, the prophet said, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice in this day, and we shall be glad. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Anyway, uh, what an awesome time we've had thus far already in the Lord. Amen. I'm excited and glad to be here today on the Sabbath. We've actually experienced some great things already. Amen. Amen. Everybody ought to be. Let's give God a shout. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Pick up your spirit. Let's, let's get started here. Today. Anyway, I want us to look, if you will, to a familiar scripture. I know we all are familiar with possibly it's in a, the book of Ephesians. <clears throat> Amen. Ephesians chapter 4. This has a message. Amen. Brother Marvin has already done an awesome job. Wow. It's hard to follow that. But <laughs> All right. God knows. Uh, you got the glory. You got the glory. Amen. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise God. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You know, this this morning I was well, I was awake, I was woke awoken early. And as I was Lying in bed, thinking, the Lord was putting songs in my heart. And I was telling Sister Mary about it. I said, Well, you know, when it's our time to sing, and I mentioned it to her, you know, there's a song that the, the Lord had put one, the main one that he put in there when it first started playing in my spirit. I started thinking about it. And I mentioned it to her. And it was, she was telling me that she put them both together. And I thought that was, that was odd, <laughs> but it made sense. Um, one was at the cross, and the other one is Jesus lifted me. So, you know, and then the, the Lord gave her a song the same as, you know, a solo. But all that thing just keep playing out in my spirit. Mm -hmm. That at the cross, amen. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I don't know, I may get to share some of it later. But anyway, it, it, is everyone uh, Ephesians 4 yet? Amen. 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 Uh, would someone like to read, Sister Michelle, or someone? <laughs> yeah, one on with. Amen. Amen. Praise praise the Lord. And I said I was there. Now I'm there. Amen. Ephesians Amen. chapter 4 and verse 1. And it reads. And onward. Amen. And yes. onward. And it reads. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you, that you walk worthy of the vocation where ye are called. Could I stop you there, Sister Jill? Amen. What's the vocation? What's what's the vocation wherewith we some of us are called? That even yourself, for example. Amen. Well, just like we just talked about um, when it comes to our faith, we we're supposed to. God has called us all to be. Um, part of the part of the children of Israel so um, followers of him but that vocation mm -hmm. is to take up our cross and mm -hmm. as brother Wayne shared earlier it's mm -hmm. not our faith but the faith of Jesus we've got to be believe and have faith in Jesus but the vocation comes in when we um, 
not only mm -hmm. believe in him, but, but mm -hmm. have his, have the faith of Jesus to then walk out what um, he would have us to do um, for, for his glory and for his service. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. That's a good example. Anyone else? <clears throat> It says here that um, in, in the uh, definition um, regarding vocation, a calling by the will of God or the, or the bestowment of God's distinguishing grace upon a person or nation by which that person or nation is put in the way of salvation. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. It's a summons or a call. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Wow. Destination yeah. or destination to a particular state or profession. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What, a, what a vocation. That's right. Wow. You know, also, uh, the vocation is one gospel. It's not many gospels. It's mm -hmm. one gospel. And it's, okay. it's coming from the throne room of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's, it's good word. I agree with all that. Because this, yeah. And then when we get on a little bit onward, it talks about the different calls, positional callings that we have. Out of, uh, Brother Wayne and Sister Michelle and Brother Tony has given good examples. And that's just the first verse. But as we go onward, wow. Praise God. Thank God for all of you. Let's go on for us, Sister Michelle. Okay, pr praise the Lord. Verse two, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Please stop. <laughs> if we did that first part of that verse, what would happen with people? that's unlearned or hadn't been delivered or, or born again. What, what, what could happen, for example? Anyway. They can, they can then come into the, make that decision for themselves that, you know, just, hey, I want what that person has. So they, their, their heart could be turned toward Jesus as well. Amen. That's right. See that? That's the mission. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, see, Sometimes a lot of lots of us, you know, as we in our walk and our journey, we forget that others we have to be we have to have that lowliness in spirit and that meekness, that humbleness, mm -hmm. and you know, as long suffering with them because they're not matter of fact, we was talking about this some time back in, in one of the Sabbath studies. We have to have patience with one another, and especially those outside of the body of Christ. Amen. Because mm -hmm. If we want them to receive the message, but we're being brutal with it, <laughs> they're not going to receive it as if we were humble. If we were humble, feel like in lowly in spirit, then they would be more apt to, to hear us and receive what we're trying to say, pretty much. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, kind of remind me of the study last night when mm -hmm. okay was asking a question. And I forgot how you put it about the character of God or experiencing the character of God or knowing the character of God. Amen. I forgot just how the question was presented, but mm -hmm. this right here is part of the character of God. This is beholding the character of God here. Okay. Anyone else? Mary, Sister Michelle, anyone else? By the way, anyone else? Yeah, yes. Um, so, so you're saying. Oh, the vows the same thought I believe I was having, at least to some extent. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the question I had was, is this, is this vocation, mm -hmm. is, is, the Lord, is, is it a separate or an individual vocation? Meaning, uh, is God calling uh, Elder Bowers, and then is he calling uh, Sister Michelle, and then is he calling Sister Mary, and then is he calling, you know, um, Brother Roy and so forth. 
Right. Or was it just one call? One call. Amen. You know, and, and everybody hears the call. to is to hear the call. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, we've talked about this, I know, previously with that the measure of faith. You know, yes. when you have the in front of a word as opposed to a or mm -hmm. it, it, um, it, it, it allows us to know, de depending on the context, mm -hmm. that it's this, it's, it's across the board. It's, it's talking about something's very specific across mm -hmm. the board. And so mm -hmm. while, while we may have different gifts, mm -hmm. ministry mm -hmm. gifts, yes. and also, God may, you know, I'll use, mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, for example, if you were to be a part of a ministry yeah. um, where you, there was a time and a season where God may have, have you doing a specific task, and then mm -hmm. he calls you to a new task, that's, I don't believe that's what this is talking about, as opposed to, to your point, right. Brother Wayne. Mm -hmm. the vocation yes. it's it we're all called to be servants of of, of god almighty mm -hmm. and um whatsoever he would have us to do that's what that's what we are to do but we know that um just in the most simplest terms he wants us to go ye therefore amen and, and pre preach the that the gospel the good news mm -hmm. to, to those Amen. that are um, to a lost and dying world. Right. Amen. Um, that's a good question. That's good. Those are good comments. Uh, but verse four is going to answer that. That I think Brother Wayne was asking. But three says, "What does three say?" Okay. Oh, she. I'm sorry. So Mary has something to say. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. Um, I was going to say, um, and even if in the uh, midst of what. Um, Everybody is saying, if we just go back to that Matthew 15, 22, mm -hmm. that was the church that didn't want to receive. The, the, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the site of the church. They want to help them. They want to help the one. Mm -hmm. if you, this is where you said this is the church of God. That's what they say. Okay. What what are you supposed to be doing in the church of God? You're supposed to be if doing you a... said you are called to be a minister, <laughs> right? A teacher of the gospel mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. What goes with that? Every God has it, if if you are the true mm -hmm. call. Okay. Leader of God, yes. You have compassion. You have love. You you have humility. humility all yeah. of that, yeah. To assist, help, help. Yeah, that's right. In love, mm -hmm. that's the gospel. Amen. And as I hear uh, Sister Michelle says, sometimes season with Saul. Oh yeah, scripture, right? Mm -hmm. You can't approach someone and they feel like you are condemning them, condemning them and bringing them up. they already in a low place. <laughs> okay. What you going to do? Put your foot on them? The neck. I don't know. On their neck? Some people feel as if you uh, just like Sister Michelle, different, I mean, God gives us all different talent. That's what but we are still supposed to help one another it said, in the areas that we need that they need help we said, need help in the last part of latter part of verse two it says for bearing one another in love mm -hmm. in love see love won't hurt you love see if we do understand in love and, and like i say according to the will of god and what he's called all mm -hmm. us to do in verse four mm -hmm. when you look at that but uh let me ask Michelle to go and read three and then four. Please, Sister Michelle, so we can get to that point that you're making. Okay. You all are making. Could you? Amen. And it reads, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. See? 
one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Mm -hmm. see, four and a half is answering it, isn't it, Sister Michelle? There one yeah. is that the answer to? Mm -hmm. Is there? Do we all have individual vocations? No, it says we in one body. Amen. Okay. Amen. Uh, see, this is. I feel the reason, and and having one body and one spirit, mm -hmm. even as you're called in one hope of your calling. So even though we have the vocation, who's it all about? Who's the vocation? Who's giving you the vocation? Who's giving you the call? Jesus. See, so it's, it's about all of us having that that Jesus called us to do. Same. Because we all the bodies, the same body. We're one body, but we have different calls to carry out to help edify. It'll tell you on into this book as we progress forward onward mm -hmm. that we're one body called to edify the church. Amen. That's what, I mean, that's what this message was about. Mm -hmm. Really, I would add a, a title for it where we answer the master's call. That's what it was going to be. But anyway, go ahead, Sister Michelle. Verse, verse five. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One, Go ahead. one God and Father of all, who is who above all and through all and in you all. Stop right there. So that, that gives a good answer to what we were just discussing earlier, doesn't it? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to know what this thing, what it's all about, and who is it all? About. Who's it? who it's all about mm -hmm. and what we're to do with our vocation. Amen. See, uh, a, go, go ahead, go ahead. No, I do have a question. Go ahead. Now, now we're talking about one God, one Lord, one body, one spirit, mm -hmm. uh, one faith, one baptism, yes. on and on. Now, they, um, there are different personalities. Okay. It doesn't mean everybody has the same personality. It doesn't mean that everybody has the same per se assignment, if I can say that. Does it? Okay. Uh, uh, just like Peter, Peter was a person that was pretty tough, pretty rough. Right. Okay. And then you look at John, that was kind of gentle. Mm -hmm. But would they still be in the same body? One Lord, one thing. Yes, one body. Talk. I'm about the body of Christ, and we should all have the same mind. The Bible teaches in Amos 3 3 that how can two walk together except they be agreed? Now, if we don't agree on the things of, of his call, the vocation that he gave us, mm -hmm. it all points back to Jesus. So we are one body mm -hmm. carrying out the same orders that he gave us mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. To do what? Yes. You know, Brother Holly, that, that um, uh, made me think about is when uh, the, the ones that had uh, the talents, okay. he gave them the talents. Mm -hmm. the three. Mm -hmm. And the one that had the two, what was it, two talents? Mm -hmm. and he, he wanted yeah. to bury it. No, one talent. One talent, he, one talent, he mm -hmm. wanted to bury it. Yeah. Two and the other, that five, and he wasn't doing what God told him to do. Right. Amen. See, there it is again for an example. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said he didn't come only to do his will, but he came to do his father's will that sent him. Mm -hmm. See the difference? So we have to make sure that we're doing we're doing what the Lord will for us to do. Mm -hmm. That's really our vocation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So how can I say I'm going to do, I'm going to be a, a, a bishop, for example, when he called me to be a teacher? <laughs> For example, mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I could try that, but it said who he appoints, he also anoints, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm stepping outside of my vocation. I might cause myself to have some issues. Mm -hmm. Couldn't I? Amen. Amen. But mm -hmm. anyone else before I move forward? Before we move forward. Also, to the, you know, when it comes to, God's people, and this, mm -hmm. this point has been brought out in times past, if if you study out how Jesus was with the disciples, he, he was a lot harsher 
and I, mm -hmm. I'm using that term loosely um, when it comes to, you know, how we would treat a non an unbeliever. And, and when I say treat, I mean minister to my, <coughs> excuse me, will will be different oftentimes than how we would um, minister or share with brothers and sisters in, of like belief. And so um, understanding the difference um, that, and even when we're sharing the truth in a setting where, you know, Jesus, when Jesus gave the message, he didn't, um, it was never watered down. <laughs> he may have used parables yes. to help people relate and mm -hmm. and be able to sink their teeth into it. Try. Mm -hmm. But Amen. He, he didn't, it was never watered down. It was never diluted. Mm -hmm. just, a, okay. just a thought. It's good. Um, anyone else? No, even as we read further, we will read further, of course. But, but the one, one and one written so many times, one. Mm -hmm. And someone mentioned that, go ye, go ye into all the world and preach, yeah. whether, whether it's a, a bishop, a teacher, mm -hmm. or nobody. The same, the same assignment, the same, the same message. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's, it's all it's the same work and the same purpose and the same result from the same God. Yes, amen. You know by the same by the same people, as it were. That's right. Praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. same. same people. Go ahead, Sister Michelle. Yeah. Same. Thank you. Amen. And I, I love what Brother <clears throat> Wayne just said about the same result, which is eternal life. And Amen. That, that's the goal. That's right. Amen. It's all about Praise it. God. Right. Praise God. Okay. Where were we, Brother Roy? Did I stop at verse six? Seven. <laughs> no. Thank you. Yeah, verse seven. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, go ahead, Sister Mary. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Okay, verse seven. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the, the here it is, the measure of the Man. gift of Christ. Wow, wow. Wait a minute, stop right there. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> I think y'all was talking about the losing it already. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I see that sort of being a, and the Bible mm -hmm. does this quite often. Mm -hmm. it, will re, it will repeat lessons from other texts, I believe this is talking about mm -hmm. that measure of faith. Too. Well, this, this, this does say, though, the measure of the gift of Christ, but we know that our faith um, is, is from him. The, the measure Amen. of faith that we're given, he, he gave it to us. I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thanks, God. Anyone else have a comment? On that right there, you know. Well, we said that uh, in the same book, I think it's two eight. And brother, uh, brother Wayne, it's you. You sound like you are kind of there's maybe you're not quite up to your mic, and I say I'm mic. Better, I'm better. <laughs> it's just can everyone hear brother Wayne clearly? It may be that I'm congested. No. Okay, Sister Mary said no as well. Are you trying to can you turn your phone volume up? Yeah, it's it's at, on on the highest level. Okay. I can hear I can hear him. Okay, go ahead, Brother Wayne. I'm sorry. Well, even as we talk in the Ephesians two eight, for by grace are ye saved. Everybody's saved by grace. Amen. Else. And that not of your yourself, it is the gift. Gift. That's why we all are saved. It's a, it's, it is the gift of God. Not many gifts. 
the gift of God. The gift. Not, yes. Not the gift. That's any man should vote. Mm -hmm. For we they do. are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk. We should walk. We should walk. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. It's good, brother. Man. It's good. Amen. Wow. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And verse eight. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Okay. Now what? Now what is that really talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I go right back to what you were saying about the grace mm -hmm. uh, the, the previous verse Sister Michelle read okay yeah, what was that what was that that was um, uh, what was that verse 8 verse 7 yeah. verse 7 mm -hmm. measure uh, yeah now I was trying to find it but I couldn't find it but I got it now you know, if you go to Titus okay. chapter 2, okay. uh, verse 11 and 12. And, was, and, you know, I'm just looking at that as what we just read here in verse 7 in Ephesians. And it says, uh, for grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It's the grace. Okay. Talking about grace, verse 12. Now, this is the grace. Teaching us that denying ungodliness, worldly lust, mm -hmm. we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that can go with what we read in verse 7 in Ephesians. Okay. But to every one of us is giving grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Would yes. that fit with Titus 2, 11, and 12? That's what, someone else. What group. verse? What verse did you read from, brother? Brother Tony. Uh, uh, verse eleven and twelve from Titus. Right. I'm going to reread it quickly for those that may be still turning. Titus chapter two, verses eleven and twelve, and it reads, "For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that." Denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I, I definitely agree mm -hmm. that yeah. verse 11, it's mm -hmm. talking about the same grace that we, mm -hmm. whether Wayne read about yeah. in Ephesians 2, verse 8. Mm -hmm. That grace of God that bringeth salvation, which is, it says, is the gift of God. It says, mm -hmm. Ephesians 2 and 8 reads, for by grace are ye saved through faith, mm -hmm. and that not of yourselves, the gift of God. Amen. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. One thing, too, that's interesting, Brother Tony, if you keep reading in verse 11, mm -hmm. it says, hath appeared to all men. So that 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 also allows us to know that everyone will have an opportunity. No, no one can ever say, well, nobody told me. <laughs> you know, because people always want to say, I didn't know, I didn't know. Right. Now, we, we may not know in terms of understanding, mm -hmm. but you know, this this concept and, you know, the, the, there was a title of a study that we've had, I think, the first part of the rejected invitation. I often think of that that title burns in my ears because um, whenever we have encounters and mm -hmm. it can be our it can be our own encounter with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And and when we 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 just say, you know what? I'm still growing or God knows my heart. The, these are rejected invitations, saints. So um, I do see it as 
<laughs> it's encouraging to me when I read that, that mm -hmm. everyone will have an opportunity, whether we mm -hmm. accept it or not. Amen. Yeah. He said Titus 2.11. 2.11, 2.11. Okay. Brother Wayne? Yeah, I can't help but think about it. You know, every, you say, you say, in other words, <clears throat> we know where the Bible says, uh, mm -hmm. the Holy cometh with clouds in Revelation 1.7, yes. and every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. And, mm -hmm. and by the word, he's called every eye to be able to see him now. Mm -hmm. faith. 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 Praise God. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Um, <clears throat> when I look at Titus 2 and 11, mm -hmm. I have to read it one more time. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. Yes. Appeared yes. to all men. Brother Wayne just said you see it. Oh. He said, no, go ahead. Appeared right. to all men. Mm -hmm. But my question is, he let it be known to all men. Mm -hmm. But we have to keep in mind that some of them are not going to accept it. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And some of us are. Okay. To those who receive it, he gives them power. What's power. power. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anyone else? Mm. Oh, those two words appear. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we receive, we receive, we all are given grace, but the yes. gift will we receive. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That's right. Wow. Praise God. And you know, when you use the word receive, and you know, the Bible uses, we use words sometimes believe, you know, mm -hmm. believe, which is motivated by love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, faith. God, yeah. Love. Yeah. Amen. Okay, amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Now, this part about <clears throat> he led captivity captive. When he ascended on how he led captivity captive. Mm -hmm. And gave gifts unto men. What is this talking about? It captivity, captive. I'm asking the group. See what y'all have to say about that. Excuse me. Which, which verse again? The verse Ephesians. eight. Ephesians okay. four and eight. Yeah, about verse eight now. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm reminded of, Brother Roy, is there's another verse that says, you know, he set, he set the captives free. That's true. Uh -huh. so, Amen. And I know Isaiah 58 mm -hmm. talks about the fast um, I have chosen, you know, this is the fast that I have chosen mm -hmm. to, um, and I'm going to just turn there quickly because I know the word captive is also used there as well and it's um and i just happen to love the that verse of scripture so i always enjoy reading it um okay. Amen. but what isaiah 58 yeah isaiah chapter 58 i'm going to read um beginning at verse Six. Okay. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to read all of it. Okay. Um, but just to, um, 
I was look I was quickly scanning to find the word captive. But mm -hmm. I'll I'll just read and um we'll get there. And um this okay. is Isaiah 58 and verse six. Amen. Um is is not this the fast um, that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, yeah. to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free. Those that's yeah. captivity. Right. Uh -huh. that's captivity. Um, and 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 that ye break every yoke. He's asking, yeah. these are a series of questions. Um, not to deal thy bread to the hungry, mm -hmm. and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, and thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Um, so I'll stop there. But what Jesus did at the cross of mm -hmm. Calvary, Yes, man. Come on. When he loosed the bands of wickedness, and he he, on. Took, he took on all that sin, the whole mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so th that the tragedy is mm -hmm. for anyone that would reject the price, the infinite mm -hmm. price that was paid at the cross. Mm -hmm. You that's talk right. about a slap in somebody's face, like that's mm -hmm. like the ultimate snub. Come yes. on, yes, to is. um, you know, to to reject or to not receive such such you know matchless grace and brother tony yes. uses that term often the matchless charms and the love um yes. that was was given at the cross so that's yes. when i think of captivity captive brother yes. roy that's what yes. i think of. amen and he loosed the bounds amen mm -hmm. you know and there's another, another. Break every year. amen mm -hmm. Go ahead. Another, there's, there's another um, response given by a, a man called A.T. Jones on this okay. Okay. The, the, the graves were opened at his crucifixion. Yeah. Did they come out after his crucifixion? Sure. That's right. When he came forth, it is written, he divided the spoil. And when mm -hmm. he came forth, he led a multitude of captives. And mm -hmm. when he ended up on high, he led them on high in his train of captives yeah. from the land mm -hmm. of So he led, he led a multitude of captives who were who were in the grave. Mm -hmm. But he raised them up. And when he ascended on mm -hmm. high, he led them that he raised on high mm -hmm. in his train of captives. That's right. Oh, the land of the enemy. Well, I want to be captured by Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise, Amen. God. Praise, Praise God. God. That's Praise the word, God. That's the word. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. That is good. Amen. You know, Amen. And you know, and also to go along with what I'm thinking about, and to say, and gave gifts unto men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, is that referring to the Holy Spirit being ascended? Mm -hmm. You know, because it goes mm -hmm. in John, I think John 14, mm -hmm. 16 through 24. And then I think 16 says, I would pray the Father and he would give you another comforter. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he may abide with you forever. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that goes with this verse here in mm -hmm. Ephesians 7, giving, and giving gifts unto all men. Mm -hmm. Here's the Holy Spirit because that's the best gift after Christ. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it said, He said, it can't come until I leave. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. So, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. praise God. Like, you, you know, uh, this is all. Go ahead. Uh, well, well, like like you all, like you always say, uh, Brother, Brother Roy, Dick and Roy, the, um, the answer is right there. It's in it. It's right. in it. Amen. Amen. It's right there. Praise God. That's the truth. Captain. 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 That's right. And then the gifts. And see, it's going when we get on down to uh, verse eleven. But go ahead. We're gonna see this. This is this is awesome. It's amazing. Go ahead. If someone else has a comment, but if not, we'll move on down because to get to that answer, and everybody will see what Brother Wayne and the scripture we're, what we were saying since Michelle, Mary, and all. 
Go ahead, Sister Michelle. Watch this. And then verse nine. verse 9. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far mm -hmm. above all heavens that he might fill all things. He might what? <laughs> Fill Listen. all things. So that is that. What is that saying? I, I mean, I haven't. I know. I, I I know you all know the answer, but I think for those that come on, and possibly I know everybody should know it, but some may haven't thought about this for a while. What is that saying to all of us? Amen. Well, from a from a present truth standpoint, I know I was. Um, I had never even though I answered this question that was posed last Sabbath mm -hmm. about w when Jesus was at the cross yeah. and um, he said, it is finished. finished. Mm -hmm. And um, does anybody remember what was finished, what we talked about last Sabbath, what he was talking about? Oh yeah. Does anyone remember the answer to that question? It is finished. It's finished. Because I believe, I believe that's what, it's talking about here. It's talking about what, a certain, go ahead. What, what, what the, go ahead, Sister Mary. Was it talking about the sanctuary, the, uh, sanctuary service? Amen, praise God. <laughs> and, and so not just the sanctuary service, nope. but even the all the mm -hmm. ceremonial feasts. Yes. yes. And all, all these things that, now you want to get you want to have a knockdown drag out with someone you you talk, you touch their feast days. That's right. Um, huh. a, there are, are a lot, lot of people. right. Yeah. Go ahead, brother Roy. Yeah, that's true. You know, if you want to get in the way of they these things that they are used to having, or they, mm -hmm. have, you know, even when uh, they was getting ready to uh, crucify Jesus, you know, these people, man, I'm telling you, they were vicious. So if you want to get in those days that they're doing, that's the, we can't do it on the Passover. We got to wait. Mm -hmm. We have an uproar with these people there. Amen. And and to me the mm -hmm. the error in it is it it's so um you know the devil is so cunning and so crafty. That's right. That he will take something that Jesus already nailed to the cross mm -hmm. and then cause man to believe that they are they love god more they this this is a special um tribute or a special right. act to unto god but right. it's just like cain mm -hmm. he, he brought his offering to jesus mm -hmm. to god yeah. it, and god god was not pleased with it that's right mm -hmm. and then what did he do and see you like brother mk was, mm -hmm, like brother mk was saying last night when the first when they don't get to do their will some of them just become murdered. They just murder them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to be careful when we, you know, a lot of times in friends on their on their holidays and all these things, we're in danger. Uh, because a lot of these devils are murderers when they don't have their weight. Mm -hmm. They are, they just turn into murder. <laughs> and you and you said it best, Brother Roy. Um, and this point comes up quite a bit. I know Brother yeah. Tony brings it up a lot as well about humility because yeah. When when we have when we truly have the love of Jesus in our hearts and it and it it's radiating in yes. our being, mm -hmm. um, you aren't you don't want to do anyone harm. Now you no, might yeah. sigh and cry, yeah, um, you know, for the the nations, but in terms and a loud cry, but in terms of doing anyone harm, oh, that's um, right. And so to your point, brother Roy. When we start bringing self into the equation um, and doing things that God didn't call us to do, but we're doing it just like how people, they justified slavery where women were raped and, and people were treated like animals. They, they, they justified that through the Bible. Oh, yeah. And you try to make some kind of legislative uh, law to get into to kind of like counteract what they were trying to orchestrate and say it was right. It wasn't though. It was one of the worst atrocities that we've ever seen in humanity. But they said with their legalism that it's right, for example. You're right. 
And you know, I'm 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 so thankful to you know mm -hmm. be able to see this mm -hmm. uh, four and this uh, Ephesians four mm -hmm. is that he letting us know that he's the same yes, Jesus that yes, yes. went down but up. yet rose. Yeah, Amen. He's the same person. Mm -hmm. He's letting us know that I, I went to the cross and I was laid in the tomb for three days. I don't, mm -hmm. But I rose. So that means that when we are, if we, whatever it is that we're going through, we can take it to Jesus. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Take it to him. A lot of times you, you can't you can't give your personal things mm -hmm. to someone can't because handle. they a lot of times might can't handle it. Probably can't. Amen. That's true. Amen. Oh uh, when they saw him said, take it to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, can, I, can I can I uh you maybe bring this out, but forgive me if so. But I just wanted to look at verse 9 again because there's a lot of misconception and misunderstanding on verse 9. Okay. When it talks about he is sinned mm -hmm. and then he is sinned first into the lowest parts of the earth. He sinned. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that? Can you share that a little bit? Go ahead, I'll let Go ahead. I'll let the group answer it. When Jesus went to the tomb, oh, well, first of all, when Jesus came, who he come from? He came for all of us. The sins of the world. Will. When he, he went to the cross, who yeah. did he go for? All of us. The whole when he world. went to the tomb, who did he go to? Who did he, who did he go for? The whole world. But when he came out, wow. what was the message? He's risen. I live. You can live also. Therefore, I can face tomorrow. Right. We can live as well. He's we can live yes. because of Jesus Because Christ. of him. He How got up. Praise God. Take and run with him. When he went down, when he rose. Come on, Mary. With all power in his hand. You got it. It was him. It's him. So that's what that verse is talking about. When he ascended, he also descended he earth. Huh? in the lower parts of the earth. Because see, some people down there hadn't got, they didn't have a Bible. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Go ahead, somebody else. I go, I go, I go really uh, into this. Ooh. Go ahead. Now, um, now Brother, I do know. Wayne, also. Brother Tony, I believe Brother Wayne has a comment. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah. I go after you there, Brother Tony. Go ahead. Oh, no, yeah, I, I was, because um, I do know that, if I'm not mistaken, there is a teaching, not quite sure it is, um, because I've heard it, that um, that God came to the earth to preach the gospel to the living, yeah. but he had to descend into the lowest part of the earth, which is death, or mm -hmm. which, is, which is the grave to those souls that hadn't heard the gospel. So he had to descend into the, I guess you can say hell or whatever you want to call it, to preach the gospel yeah. so that they can have the opportunity to accept that gospel. Yeah. Can I ask you a question, Brother Tony? Yeah. Can I ask you a brother's question, Brother Tony? Yeah. What is grace? What is grace? Yeah, for example. Unmerited favor. So to those, I mean, he's he's the same Lord over all. It says he reached unto all. Everybody has the right mm -hmm. if they will. Amen. Mm -hmm. But go ahead, brother King, brother Wayne. Well, <laughs> that was me. I was asked, I was asked the question. I mean, if you 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 educate me, and as I always like to say, you know, I don't know everything. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. But the the preaching. I mean, you know, we know that the Bible does not contradict itself. Mm -hmm. So and the Bible says that the dead <laughs> make nothing. So I think someone just said that he went into the depths of the earth to preach to them. Mm -hmm. 
So how can you preach to somebody when the dead can know nothing? Yeah. Let's hold yeah. let's hold that answer and let Brother Wayne go. One second, Brother Ken, is that okay? Yes, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm just I'm just asking, you know, what, what you're talking about. I'm just right. Asking. We'll we'll get we'll come right back to it, Brother Wayne. Okay, well, I, I probably not supposed to leave it alone, but I, I had that same observation that you you have, that Brother Ken. Same observation. Praise God, you brought it up. Um, the point I was going to make uh, before that was um, the word said there's a word in Ephesians four ten that he might feel talking about the Lord that he he descended and ascended that he might feel all things. Amen. <laughs> All this simple example that I have in my mind, you know, it's like filling a glass of water and, and mm -hmm. filling it all the way. Mm -hmm. So that so nothing, no sin or anything can come into it. Amen. Oh, praise God. That's the work that he, the work that he can feel all things in our hearts. Our hearts may be full <laughs> of love, full mm -hmm. of love. Come on, brother. That's right. Praise God. Faith in Jesus. And, and, yeah. and use the word feel, feel. Uh, yes. Ezekiel 28 9. This is talking about uh, the fall of uh, Satan, of Lucifer, became Satan. Mm -hmm. The Lord told him, He said, Thou was perfect in thy ways in the day that thou was created, till iniquity mm -hmm. was gone in thee. This verse here, verse 16, 28, Ezekiel 16. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. So the Lord came, came to 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 fill us with his righteousness. Right? There would be no more sin. That, that's the right. Right Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now you, you and, and, and Brother Wayne, you brought that out the clarity of Amen. Uh, they Amen. said in verse 10 that he said he that descended is the same also that he sent it up far above all heaven, that he might feel all things. Mm -hmm. That's what Brother Wayne was saying. That's what the word is saying. It answered it for you, Brother Tony, and all of us. But did it That's what he came to do. He came, excuse me, go ahead. Did the answer Ken for him. He said yeah. in the dead no nothing. And see, and the question that Ken had, how can he go down as priest of the dead and they don't know nothing? All you got to do is say this one word, God. He's God. You know, the Bible says Emmanuel it, it's defined as God with us. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So, okay, but my, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I understand that he descended into the lower parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, yes. He did okay. It. But what does it say he was preaching to the people in the, in the lower parts of the earth? Because, I mean, I, you know, I, when I see that Jesus rose, I, I always like to make this point. Okay. You know, <laughs> He's showing us that as, when you accept Christianity, mm -hmm. you can defeat death, which is which is which is sin, which is a part mm -hmm. of it. Okay. That, and that's what's so beautiful about being a Christian. When people say, you know, mm -hmm. you want to ever debate me with, so well, you know, if you want to be a Muslim and you believe in the, in the Prophet Muhammad, right. you know, how, how, is a man, how is a dead man gonna get you out of that grave? If you believe in Buddha. Whomever, all these other people that you know, the Scientology and all this stuff. No, oh, right, right. You had all the spirit getting you up. You're not gonna be doing God's Holy Spirit getting you up. You're not gonna be mm -hmm. doing anything. Okay. It's not gonna happen. It can't happen because a dead man can't can get you out of that grave. Right. So okay. you know, that's what's so wonderful about it. But I do. It says he went there, but where is the scriptural authority? Educate me. That says that he was preaching to the dead down there. And I'm not trying to the controversy. I'm just asking. Okay. No, we understand. This is uh, right. Okay. In, verse eight, in verse eight of uh, Ephesians four, he says, "Where wherefore he he says when he ascended up on high, mm -hmm. he ascended up on high, he did mm -hmm. and gave yeah. unto men. You know, mm -hmm. and, and that's why the Lord had me say last night. I said I can't go to sleep unless I make this statement." We have to be careful Amen. about how we how we uh, address the, the the dead or the, the state of the dead. The, the state and and understand the state of the dead. We think mm -hmm. we might have it all, but I'm telling you, it's a serious subject. Mm -hmm. serious. It is. Yes, it is. The Lord stopped speaking 
to 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 Saul didn't speak to him anymore when he sought the wind mm -hmm. of, of Endor. Yeah. About, about trying to contact Samuel, who was dead. That's right. Mm -hmm. So so he didn't speak to him anymore. We don't. I don't want to be in a situation where the Lord won't speak to me mm -hmm. anymore. Amen. 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 Yeah. That is Amen. How, how dreadful that is and terrible that is. Mm. That's right. And it's everlasting. But 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 uh, you know. And, and but see, this 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 issue relates to uh, chapter four of sending mm -hmm. on high and leading being captive, captivity captive, <laughs> and gave gives command. I refer it right to uh, Revelation four, four eight nine, and Revelation five nine. You know, tell us about those who were raised. I agree. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you know, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. The life. And, oh. and, you know, and that is what I was saying. That is what a teaching, that is a popular teaching today. Mm -hmm. What I yes. was sharing about Jesus descending into the earth yes. to preach the gospel to the mm -hmm. dead. I don't believe that. That's not scripture. But, you know, they have paracatory in the church, they in the Catholic church, we've done it for years. It's I've not scripture. It. It's not. It's not scripture. It's, it's, not, it's not biblical. It's not biblical. But yet, at the same time, God said, "Come forth. You coming forth? Mm -hmm. You're going to yeah. obey." But it's it's Christ calling. Mm -hmm. You know. So you know to preach the gospel to the dead. Mm -hmm. That's not mm -hmm. biblical. It's not biblical. Biblical whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But uh, Sister you know, Mary has something to add to this, if y'all don't mind, Brother Tony. Um, I'm going to read from Romans 14 and 9. You read it earlier. It says, for to, for to this end, Christ both died and rose revived. and revived that he might be Lord both of the yeah. dead and living. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when Jesus come back, when he come mm -hmm. what do he say he gonna come to do he come quick the reward is with him mm -hmm. and he said the dead is gonna rise brother, when brother, he called for right. brother when he just said it is in the first mm -hmm. Thessalonians 4 mm -hmm. uh, know that you know he, when he called the grave to be open it's gonna be open when the trump blow he stepped through the cloud mm -hmm. and then and those that or dead in Christ will rise first. Mm -hmm. and those that are alive shall be called up and remain shall be called up mm -hmm. with, in the clouds be with the Lord we shall ever be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. So the key point is this. I heard Brother Wayne say this earlier. Mm -hmm. He said, even at the resurrection, I mean at the uh, crucifixion, the mm -hmm. graves were open during that time. Mm -hmm. Who was in the grave? Dead. The dead. The dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the see, it's yeah, so Jesus has so much power, even the dead has to move. Amen. When he's at, at, at his presence, yeah, at his command, anything. Jesus, yeah. see, that's the key point. So even again, when he comes, his second coming, the graves will be open again. Mm -hmm. See, the grave has no power over Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus has power over the dead, the grave all of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's you the know key what? Point. Oh, Go ahead. You know, I was going to say, you know, in verse 9 in Romans, what Sister Mary was reading, mm -hmm. you know, there are two resurrections. You have a resurrection of the righteous, right? The first resurrection. Mm -hmm. Then you have the resurrection of the, 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 wicked. you have the, wicked. the, the wicked. That's mm -hmm. right. So when you read that verse 9 here, but who raised both of them? Who raised the righteous and who raised the wicked? Jesus. Jesus, Jesus raised, right. Jesus raised them all. 
Okay. Jesus you know raised them all. So it's, 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 when I read verse 9, that mm -hmm. the life is called forth from God mm -hmm. to raise it. The just mm -hmm. and the unjust are brought God. forth through you know, Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You know, even Ephesians 2, when it talks about even when we were dead to trespasses, listen, when we were dead to trespasses and sin, mm -hmm. it was yet he who quickened us alive. Mm -hmm. See, even he's the only one when we're dead, mm -hmm. bring us back to life. Mm -hmm. We can't do that, but God, mm -hmm. the Lord can, because he had power over life and death. Mm -hmm. So he said, what he said when he goes, put mortality back on immortality. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? See? Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I was studying that recently. But he won't, excuse me, he won't go against his own word. He can't violate his own word. I That's say right. that to say, you know, okay. the scripture in Revelation, Amen. I believe it, that says, he that is just, let him be just still, just still. that is still be. Yeah. Um, from the standpoint, for those who mm -hmm. may not be familiar, mm -hmm. um, when Mikey L stands up mm -hmm. and so probation closes Close. um, there is no repentance there is no more mercy there is no more grace nothing we are basically and and that's why we're here now that's that's really the whole purpose of um everything we do in this vocation brother brother roy as you were as we were reading earlier mm -hmm. is that's the purpose is to is to sort of snatch or um, what's the word that the Bible uses, arrest people's arrest. attention mm -hmm. and to, to literally snatch people mm -hmm. out of the, the hands of, of Satan because right. we, mm -hmm. we may or may not realize it, but the Pope thinks he's God, saints. Mm. Yeah, thank you, yeah, that's right. And so like, the average person that may not even be Catholic, when we see what's going on um, in the world, I, I mm -hmm. saw an image just the other day of the Pope had um, a lamb, the, the most helpless lamb yeah. around his neck. Yeah. Wow. And mm -hmm. um, now, if that isn't when you just think about that image and what is what is the devil trying to put in our minds when you see a lamb people think of peace people think of helpless and um jesus i hope but from the standpoint of purity i i believe that um i'm i'm, I'm bringing this up only to say that there, there is a very urgent need right now to awaken the world. You know, the whole purpose, the whole reason God ascended and and descended, um, and I, He first descended, then He ascended, and we know He's going to descend again. Amen. We've got another round of a descension and another ascension. Amen. And so I, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying that to say this. <laughs> we all want to go back with him when he comes the second time. Amen. Amen. You know, he was talking about earlier, Revelation 22, 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy. Let him be holy still. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay. Right. On that one, on, on that point, still. Yeah. It's not, it's not a matter again. I, I use this, I use this phrase before musical. It's not a matter of musical tear. <laughs> you know that the Lord does not never has and never will make a mistake. Amen. If per, per adventure, one word to be given more time. Even mm -hmm. even then. It, it still still wouldn't do any good. God be yeah. mm -hmm. would be would be useless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
anyway, oh, yeah, but we have a good, awesome time. But anyway, first, I think we stopped at first 11. Mm -hmm. and Amen. Amen. E Ephesians 4 and verse 11, and we will pick back up, and it reads, and he gave some apostles and some mm -hmm. prophets mm -hmm. and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Okay, can I stop you right there? Now, we were talking about the vocations and the gifts it says up there in verse 8. It gave gifts unto men. And we talked talk about the vocation over here that you should walk worthy of, but with your call, where the vocation. Now, is are those vocations, for example? Amen. See? Amen. Uh, you know, I, we, we had a conversation. Somebody, oh, go ahead, brother. No, I, I just, I just, amen. Just, and amen. Very, very. All very. Yes. You know, we had a question that was asked. We was, I was talking to somebody a while back, recently, I think it was, mm -hmm. that can men make apostles? Can men make apostles? No. <laughs> you know, you hear people in some of the churches, I'm an apostle. When did you, when did this occur? I'm like, wow, okay. For example, but he said that he gave some apostles. Who gave it to him? Jesus. What the man was. Mm -hmm. And some prophets. Who gave it to him? I think they kind of twisted it. Well, Jesus. Jesus. And some evangelists. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And some pastors and teachers. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard somebody preach this. Everybody wasn't called. Mm -hmm. They just went on mm -hmm. their own. Mm -hmm. They weren't sent. They went. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're dealing with in a lot of, of the places that they call churches in, in the earth realm in which we live. So have to, we have to be careful. Mm -hmm. But now, what does it say for uh, Sister Michelle in verse 12, you all? What does it say? This is for, it's like fivefold ministry. It starts with the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. But what does it say in 12 is for Sister Michelle? I know we're about to run out of time. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, <clears throat> for the edifying of the body of Christ. What did you say, Brother Wayne, earlier? It answers itself. It answered it. All right. Amen. It's for the body of Christ. See? Edify the body of Christ. Yeah. What did Jesus say about if he be lifted up? Yeah, you know. But it's oh, all about Amen. one body. Amen. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. In the Michelle, so it's Michelle. Amen. Amen. One one thing that I recall from a previous study was that um the, when it comes to this concept of like a fivefold ministry <laughs> gift. Uh -huh. that 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 term in and of itself is not um, biblical, but that, but that, like if it, it's basically walking us through in terms of when you look at each of these gifts, it's gifts, walking, that's right. it's walking us through time mm -hmm. when you know when Jesus during his earthly ministry, mm -hmm. um, the apostles were mm -hmm. the 12 disciples those were mm -hmm. those were the um apostles mm -hmm. and, so, and then mm -hmm. if we keep walking this thing through the bible um it, it's describing mm -hmm. what was needed mm -hmm. throughout that history mm -hmm. thank you brother roy Th throughout yeah. history right amen um and so now when we end up with teachers, well, you, more talk about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we we're really now not to say there's anything wrong with pastors, but from the standpoint of a pastor preaching, what mm -hmm. what we need now are teachers. Amen. Teachers Praise to, God. To be able to to um, teach the word 
so that people can't, you know, and I forget how the word says it. I will sing with the understanding. I will speak or hear with the understanding. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times you hear a message and there's so much gibberish and nonsense going on. You know, even if, if you go to the Catholic church, they don't, they're speaking in Latin. They don't even know what's being spoken. So much noise, amen. So it's, it's a very, um, it's a dangerous thing that the, the devil will literally take everything and twist right. to, to keep us dumb no, dogs, yeah. dumb dogs that dumb won't dogs. bark. Right. Amen. I hey, mean, I got, when, you, when you hear, the, oh, go ahead. No, I, I had a question, if it's all right. It's all right. Uh, verse 11, he has listed here some apostles, uh -huh. prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Okay. Why, why, why name those and not name a craftsman talent well, or skilled craftsman talent versus like when they, you know, if I'm making any sense on the question here. No. Well, you know, when you say why, uh, see, we, I, I can only say if I ask, you know, if I ask God that, would he answer me, for example? Because he already established what he wanted us to know in and through uh, the people that he selected mm -hmm. to be here a four, a four time before we got here. Just like you remember um, before Jesus came on the earth, see, there were what? High priests, mm -hmm. for example, then prophets, okay? And Michelle walked it out. She walked it down the line, but she said, throughout history, there were some apostles and just went all the way down to teaching. And see, we're in that era of time now where we need more teaching. And we know all that possible because all that was during that time historically when they were when this was was prevalent and and was needed during that time. So we're in a time now, the zero time. That go ahead, sister. You know when I when I hear you know Brother Tony ask that question, mm -hmm. it took me to a talent. Okay. What craftsman? Craftsman. The craftsman is a person that's skilled to do skilled to, to do to different. Build yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Right. And only the only way that you can get that mm -hmm. is that you have to have the knowledge of God to even be a craftsman. Right. Okay. You know, and that's a talent. Yeah. Not a. Yeah. This, these are gifts. Gifts. Yeah. From the from God that's the directly to men. Right. And see, and the only way you can get that is from mm -hmm. God. And then, first of all, you need to you have to be walking and right. Right perspective with him. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. I won't get the, the gift of the spirit while I'm acting like a dog, like a dumb dog, like some shells was talking about earlier. Uh, 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 walking, being uh, serving another idol God. I can't, I can't receive the spirit of God. That's that's, that's walking in disobedience. Mm -hmm. See, brother Tom. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was um, looking at it, you know, in a sense from the Old Testament. Okay. Yeah, when they did, they did the sanctuary, when they built the sanctuary, mm -hmm. God put in their spirit and right. certain skills, certain gifts mm -hmm. for people right. to do certain mm -hmm. things as it relates to the sanctuary. Oh, and build yes. those things. Mm -hmm. Here yes. is talk about here is talking about the gospel. Now right. we're not, you right. know, now we're dealing with a something that is going to be built not by hand, not by man hand. Right. And, but and that, by God Himself is going to build it, so that's why I'm thinking that He's not putting skill, uh, skill talent into this passage here, because it's referring to the gospel. Because God is right. building this kingdom, this, this, this God's that, righteousness. The distinguishment there is not the will of men, but the will of God. Say that, okay? That oh. to me. Go ahead, Sister Michelle. Also, in if you keep reading down in verse 12, 
it, it says, when it's all said and done, it says, what, what is it all for? It says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the sure. ministry, mm -hmm. for the edifying. So you can't, yeah. the only way you can be edified, and I'm going to look up that word quickly, but improve. 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 That's what it means. Ed edified means that um, you've got to first um, have understanding of <laughs> something. Amen. And yeah. you've got to be able to listen mm -hmm. and understand. And um, so you don't, you can't be edified from a craft. <laughs> you could be edified <laughs> only by hearing the word of God and, um, and then getting, getting understanding. But I'm, I'm going to read what, what, um, how edify is, is defined in Webster's. It says, um, uh, instruct or and to sister mary's point instruct or improve and someone is in parens morally or intellectually and um another definition this is this is actually from miriam webster it mm -hmm. says um to instruct and improve especially in moral and religious knowledge so that that can only come through mm -hmm. um, hearing the word of God. Amen. 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 Faith coming by here, hearing the word of God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Okay. Uh, uh, this time is a lunar. It's moved on so rapidly. Sister Michelle, could you read down to like four, 15 and 16 and we'll stop? But okay. Let's take a time. Praise God. So I'm picking back up in from verse 13. Mm -hmm. And I'll stop at 16, Brother Roy. Yes, please. And it reads, Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the wow. measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, Amen. that we be no more children tossed mm. to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men, cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Mm -hmm. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, Christ, yes. from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body unto the edifying, there's that word, edifying, of right itself now. in love. Amen. In Praise love. God. Now, one thing, I, Brother Roy, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> one, one thing I just thought about even when I was reading in verse 15 where it says, um, which is the head Christ and right. just what we were saying earlier about, you know, right now in the, in where we are in earth's history, mm -hmm. um, the world would have us to believe that the Pope is God. Uh, it would, and, that's right, but he's not. <laughs> and we know Christ is the head of the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so uh, when I kept reading and it says, um, in verse 16, even um, mm -hmm. joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth. So we're, you know, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, they're not here. <laughs> there is no light in them. No and light. So mm -hmm. When we think about a body, it's kind of like, if something foreign, we were talking about the healthy living segment on Sabbath right. during the mm -hmm. Sabbath opening study, when, when something, when your body is trying to get rid of something that doesn't belong there, amen, and you cough it up, you, you aren't to swallow it back down. You need to expel mm -hmm. it. And, right. and so, um, I, I see what's happening in the world today, much mm -hmm. the same way from the standpoint when we take in lies and deceit, right. Amen. Um, it's just like 
and and these are words if we think about when we hear deception these are words man's words that's right mm -hmm. we take that in it's just like eating a dog's vomit a dog eating its own vomit <laughs> i mean yeah. Mm -hmm. we just we just have to be um mindful of what we're allowing to get into our spirit the the guarding the gateways and the avenues mm -hmm. that's right mm -hmm. praise god You're right amen see you know the bible teaches a, a fool of return a dog return his own vomit like a fool that old ways mm -hmm. amen so we have to be careful, like you said, that if we don't go try to go back and get that stuff that's not good for us and, and reuse it or relive it. You know, at uh, 14, it says, okay. it says, and cunning and craftiness, whereby they, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. That's what they do. That's right. So Michelle, you and y'all, you and Sister Mary brought it out real, you know, grace uh, Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the reason why I cannot. Mm -hmm. is, uh, I just Eloquent. cannot hear, mm -hmm. hear the same things over and over mm -hmm. the good. same way good. each and every week. No, you can't. God is doing different things in our lives. And, and yeah. everyone that comes on on virtual That's with right. us, mm -hmm. this one has something new. That one has something mm -hmm. new. And it's all coming to the table to edify the, the body of Christ. The body of That's Christ. That's what it's all about. Most, and we all learning together, thank yeah, God. Amen. Praise God. Because that's what it's all about. Many yeah. members, but I one body. I, I just can't do church as usual. Is is it's not doing anything. Yeah, I didn't do it. Oh, uh, yeah. And I was yeah. Uh, uh, chicken and macaroni. Uh, hey, hey. No. Yes, sir. Uh, that ain't giving that, that ain't gave that, my life nothing. That's emotionalism. It's not helping the sick people and the ones that no. need directed direction and deliverance. How can how can I go out? How can I take something that I didn't hear Clean. and go out and tell somebody else? Did he preach? What? He was doing hooping and hollering. Jesus didn't say take that until he said go no. into all the world and preach the gospel. He didn't say preach the craziness and that that that, that foolishness, but he said mm -hmm. go and preach the gospel. And that's the reason why, you know, with the uh National Sunday Law books is is the reason why, you know, I am very, very humble with it. And I can continue to pray to God to lead me and my family at at doing it is asking the, the pastors, can you tell me about this book? Mm -hmm. If they will. If you will. Yes. Will you read it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Praise but anyway, God. Praise God. Uh, turn it back over to, I know the time we, we went on a little bit beyond a normal time. Powerful. Enjoy the the, 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 the lesson, the, the word, and the participation. Praise God. I'll turn back over to the and Brother Mark. Brothers and sisters, I uh, want to make a comment. Okay. Uh, those last few verses that Michelle read, Sister Michelle read, mm -hmm. we, we should already be there. We should already be unity in faith. Mm -hmm. you know, we should already be expecting the Christ to come. Those Amen. things should be with us. We should already be perfect in Christ. Amen. Christ is calling, Christ is calling for us to every moment of the hour, every moment of the day. Mm -hmm. Be like right. him. Uh, Amen. That, that, that didn't mean you may not fall, but you get up. Don't step, yeah. don't lay down. You get up. Get up. Anyway, uh, praise God, brother. I don't want to take away that. Oh, yes. Good. All right, uh, God. Brothers, so uh, thank God for the message. Praise God for the service today. And this afternoon, you meet at what time again? Uh, Brother Roy? Oh, oh, oh. Five, uh, 555. 555. 555. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure. And also, brothers and sisters, uh, don't forget, uh, you know, 
be on time. You may not stop on time, but you be on time. And because uh, if crisis come, and it depends upon you showing up on time, would you make it? <laughs> That's right. Man. We make. We, we we speed to get to our jobs, but we're gonna speed to get to the Bible. All right. <laughs> Well, anyway, let me stop. Let me stop. I, anyway, <laughs> brothers and sisters, uh, uh, any prayer or press testimony, questions or thoughts about anything we was spoken today? Because some of it I caught, some of it I didn't because I lost signal. Uh, so, uh, but any questions, comments, or thoughts uh, to, that was heard, spoken, uh, anything someone wanted to add or whatever? Um, any I'm, thoughts, I'm thankful for there was some clarity <clears throat> brought about Ephesians 4 and verse 10, where it says, he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that mm -hmm. might fill all oh. things. And oh. brother, brother Wayne brought out um, Ephesians 2 and verse um Eight or no, it was another verse. But well, um, it's two and eight, and Ephesians sixteen. Not Ezekiel sixteen. Ezekiel sixteen. Ezekiel. Thank you, Sister Mary, mm -hmm. which allows us to know that that was that Phil <clears throat> was actually talking about filling us Amen. with his love and with His Spirit, and That's um, right. and I think about um, Revelation fourteen twelve. Mm -hmm. Righteousness so by faith, where yeah. which is which is the third angel's message in verity that this um you know to brother MK's point about that we should already be um perfected and from the standpoint of mm -hmm. um surrender a life surrendered to Christ and that he Christ is living out his life in us. So we are mm -hmm. filled with him. Mm -hmm. And there's there's none there's no more there's no room for sin when you're filled up. Amen. That's Amen. Right. So that mm -hmm. that really blessed me. I I had not I had not thought of it that way or seen it that way. And um mm -hmm. and thankful. And it also allows us to know that it gives us another even more appreciation for the Sabbath rest. Amen. Because mm -hmm. even if you're you know, it's it's hard to conceive of, but some someone might say, "Well, I'm filled, so I don't need any more." Mm. But we we even learned in a previous study. You know, every time we come into the Sabbath, mm -hmm. no matter how full we may be, and no matter mm -hmm. how much grace and where we are, there's always more that we we get. And right. God is giving us more of him and it's, it's infinite. We can't conceive of it, but we can only benefit and grow. And as sister Mary said, improve, that's what God is calling us from glory to glory, just overcoming yeah. and overcoming. Praise God. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, sister. Awesome. Any more questions, thoughts or comments for brother Wayne Sanson? Uh, and also, Excellent point. That, uh, we, we must be ready now. But he which hath begun a good work in you will will yes. until the day of Jesus Christ. 